Good morning. We are getting ready to start the live session, and I am happy to be back with you today for day number four of Spring Forest Every Day. And it's a beautiful day here. I'm here in my sunroom. Normally the light is streaming through, but you can see in the background, it's not. So we're gonna have to wait for the light to come on. Good morning, everyone. My name is Joanne Brown and I'm coming to you from Alabama. And I'm very happy to be back with you for day four of Spring Forest Every Day. I am a certified trainer and certified group practice leader. And I'm, I'm very happy that anyone and everyone who has joined in the past and is joining today. So thank you. So we always begin um, this practice in, in my practice groups by acknowledging the tradition of Qigong and honoring the lineage that is the spring forest tradition. So we just take a second and acknowledge and honor. And then we connect the light in our upper Dantian and our middle Dantian and our lower Dantian. And just that sort of act, taking that little time to do that brings us together as a, as a whole person, as a whole unit, mind, body, and spirit. And then we thank, we thank one another for practicing together and we thank the spring forest community for supporting us. There's a lot of work that goes behind us being able to do Spring Forest every day and the 100 day weekend edition also. So thank you. And it is my hope that by us practicing together, we are a benefit to all living beings and to the earth herself. So thank you. And let's begin by standing in the beginning of the universe posture. So we're standing erect. We relax the tension from our shoulders. Keep the arms a little bit away from the body so you're not closing any channels. Palms face backward, little curl to the fingers. And knees are relaxed, but feet are firmly planted on the ground. And in this position, you put your tongue against the roof of your mouth. You can actually touch the tip of the tongue right behind your two front teeth, upper front teeth. And you start to bounce gently from the knees, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. So you let your body dictate the rate and rhythm of your breathing and your bouncing. It'll tell you what it needs to do. Keep smiling. Smiling starts your internal love engine. It also opens up channels around your mouth and lips and your cheeks. So you've got a lot of benefits. Now, when you're bouncing, let go of anything that your body does not need. So any excess emotion, any feeling that you have, any excess energy, pain, anxiety, just imagine that it's leaving the body like smoke or butterflies. I put my butterfly up today so you could see the butterfly. So you're just letting everything go that you don't need. Anything that doesn't serve you, let it go. Happy bouncing. So. And raise your arms slowly above your head. Let your wrists pick up the vibration from your bounce of your knees. You don't have to actively wave your wrists. Keep breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Keep the tongue attached to the roof of the mouth. Holding your arms like this is actually good for your lungs. It's one of the systems that we're gonna be working with today. So we're, we're getting a jump start on our, on our lung energy here. Now slowly let your arms come down. And when you come to shoulder level, fold your elbows, point your fingers toward each other 
and start to twist gently from side to side. We wanna open up those intervertebral disc spaces gently. Let your arms come down slowly. You can keep bouncing and keep breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. And when you reach your waist, give yourself a little bigger stretch. So this is my favorite part of this whole process. I like doing this twist. I don't know if any, any of you are as old as me, but you remember that old chubby checker, do the twist. All right, now slowly come to a stop. Go back to your beginning of the universe posture. And before we do any tapping, just close your eyes, relax the tension from your shoulders and scan your body from top to bottom and see if there's anything that you need to work on today. Any emotion, any painful part of your body, you don't have to try and fix it right now, but just write yourself a mental note. And then we'll start some tapping. So we're going to tap nine times on the cheekbones right under your eyes, nine taps to open up stomach channels. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine times in between the eyebrows to open up the bladder channels. Seven, eight, nine. Gently cup the top of the head nine times. And then hold your forehead with the palm of one hand and cup the back of the hand with the other. Nine times, eight, nine. Okay, now find C7, the cervical vertebrae at the base of your neck. And with your thumb and your index finger, massage around C7 nine times and go clockwise. Okay, so you've talked to the yang energy points, you've talked to your brain, and now you're talking to the connection between your lower body and your head. Now simply clap for your heart channels. And then cup the inside of the left elbow. Inside of the right elbow. Lift the left arm and cup directly under the left arm. And then the right arm. And then make loose fists and tap your tailbone. So let's do nine taps. We might do, we might do two sets of nine taps because I like this. So two, two sets of nine taps. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then repeat. That's good to do if you sit a lot. And then roll your fingers around your thumbs and you find that little dimpled area where your legs enter the pelvic bones and you do nine cups. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we'll do our knees, front, back, and the side of each knee. So let's start with the front. Back. Side left, side right. Good, now we gotta roll up. If you're not pregnant, roll up on the balls of your feet and drop back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, good. Now we go back to the beginning of the universe posture. Again, let the tension melt from your shoulders. Take three deep breaths in, pulling your abdominal muscles towards your spine. Let's just take three cleansing, nice deep breaths. So inhale and exhale. And inhale and exhale. And last one, inhale and exhale. Now, 
let's say the password. I am in the universe. The universe is in my body. The universe and I combine together. And then we'll call upon an energy that we want to come and join in our practice. It can be the energy of Master Lin or another master that you know. It can be a deity. It can be something, an energetic force that you love and respect. Just ask that energy to come and practice with you. And you're in the universe. So you can see that force coming across the universe, smiling at you, and then standing behind you and merging the chi field with yours. And you tell the universe what you need for your practice today. What do you need? And then say it and let it go and the universe will know. Go back to beginning of the universe posture and focus on a very soft light in the lower Dantian. And just gently breathe as you focus on that light. That's the light of your vitality. And we're working to cultivate that light and to add to it today. So the movement that we're going to do for the practice today is called connecting to your body's energy. And it works with the metal element and it works with the lungs, the large intestine, the skin, the sinuses, uh, your nose, your throat, and your teeth. So those, those that are having sinus trouble in this kind of fall, the change of season weather, this is a good movement for you to do. So we just join our hands, make a little, little prayer position in front of our upper uh, middle dantian, and then turn those prayer hands over so you're holding them in front of the lower dantian. Step out a little bit with the right leg so your feet are a little wider than shoulder width apart, but get your stance where it's stable for you. So you're comfortable in it. And then check those shoulders. Are you holding any tension in the shoulders that you don't need? If you are, just take an extra second and let it go. All right. Inhale and shift 70% of your leg weight to the left leg and hold that for three seconds or a count of three. And then as you exhale, you shift 70% of your weight to your right leg and you hold that for a count of three. And you just repeat this movement, breathing gently. Inhale left, hold and exhale right, hold. As you repeat the movement, you visualize the color white. See, I'm wearing white. And you bring in the emotion of contentment. You allow yourself to feel content, bring it through every pore of your skin. Keep your tongue attached to the roof of the mouth if you can so your energy channels stay connected, but you bring in the emotion of contentment. And when you bring in contentment, let it go to every cell in your body and all the body tissues and organs and organ systems. You bring in contentment and release any sadness or depression or grief that you may be holding on to. Just let it go. Bring in healing, light, love, and energy through every pore of your skin along with contentment. Let go of pain, sadness, anything that you do not need in your body. And I'll be quiet so you can enjoy this movement. This is a very beautiful movement.
Let's do five more. I'll count. Go as slow as you can possibly go. You slowly come to the end of the movement. And when you're finished, bring your prayer hands up in front of the middle Dantian. And let's do 10 gratitudes on things that we feel that we're very content about. So what makes you feel content? What makes you feel that you have <clears throat> been just totally satisfied in whatever it is you're endeavoring to do or be? Just as you inhale, bend from the waist, no more than 30 degrees, you don't have to go all the way down. And just say to yourself one thing that makes you feel content. And then exhale as you rise up. So I'll count and I'll tell you when I'm on number nine. 10 things that make you feel content. Last one coming up. And slowly come to a stop. Allow your arms to drop. Go back to your beginning of the universe posture that we started with. Take a few breaths in just to refocus yourself and visualize that light in the lower Dantian shining so brightly for you. See if you feel any different now than you did before doing the movement. Do you feel any sensation or do you feel lighter or freer? What, what, is the, what has practicing that movement done for you? Just note that. And then visualize that the light in your lower Dantian is starting to spin. And it's going clockwise. And as it's spinning, it's getting faster and brighter and smaller, and faster and brighter and smaller, and faster and brighter and smaller. And when it finally reaches the size of an energy pill, you can think of a vitamin pill, then you tuck that behind your navel, you hang on to that. That's your energy. If you need it during the day, you call on it and just say, hey, I need a little reservoir of energy and it'll come out for you. And then we'll do some soothing exercises. So rub your hands together, get the palms nice and warm. And then come up the side of the nose in between the eyebrows, across the forehead, down the cheeks, make your heart shape. Let's do it six times. So that's two, three, four, five, and six. 
And then either run your fingers through your hair or your scalp or pat your head front to back. Two, three, four, five, and six. And then massage your ears top to bottom. And then at the last one, six, tug your earlobes. And then cup the back of your head gently nine times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Cup the inside of the left arm. Also good for the lungs. That movement is also good for the lungs. And then the outside. <clears throat> Switch to the right arm. <clears throat> and then lift the left arm and we'll do the whole left side, armpit to waist. And then the whole right side, armpit to waist. And then do our whole torso. So we're gonna go from the collarbone down to our waist six times. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Excellent. Now, my favorite, second favorite move outside of twisting is to tap the kidneys. So the kidneys right under the last ribs. Okay, so they're a little, little higher than what most people think. So you tap right here nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then rub the kidneys with the back of your hands. And then hold with the palm of your hand. And really send love to the kidneys. They do so much for the body. Regulate water balance, regulate acid-base balance. Get your bone marrow to produce red blood cells for you. Get rid of tight, toxic nitrogen waste that your body doesn't need. Gotta love those kidneys. All right. And then let's tap our tailbone. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we'll do our knees. Back. Side left. Side right. All right, so let's talk. We got a few minutes. Let's talk. Um, I put the prayer from yesterday. A lot of people requested the prayer when I gave you that Buddhist prayer. It started. I ask forgiveness. I posted that on my Facebook page, which I have just for Qigong, and that Facebook page has a very innovative name. It's Joe Ann Brown's Qigong. You don't have to be a friend. All you have to do is search Facebook. And I spell my name J O space A N N E space B R O W N apostrophe S space Qigong Q I G O N G. So if you type that in and you go to that Facebook page, You'll see I have a whopping 17 followers. I'm, I'm getting to be an influencer there, but that uh, prayer is posted on that page. So I've got a couple thoughts for you for today. And I wanted to bring in the contentment and the compassion. So, you know, I feel content when I feel I've helped somebody or something. And whether it's an animal or a person or a plant, if I feel that I have done something good, that makes me feel content. So I looked up um, a couple things on the internet, but the two things that really brought home to me about the, about the compassion. One was a statement from Margaret Mead. And Margaret Mead was a social anthropologist she was famous. She wrote a book, Coming of Age in Samoa. But they asked Margaret Mead, what makes, what was the, the first thing that made her think that civilization had occurred? And everybody was thinking that she was going to say 
some kind of a stone instrument or tool or weapon or whatever, but she didn't. What Margaret Mead said, what made her feel that civilization had occurred or that humans had become civilized, she said they found a femur, the leg bone, upper leg bone of a person. Now this is way back in you know Stone Age times, but that femur had healed. And she said that showed that somebody had taken care of that person. Oh, it makes me wanna cry. Somebody had brought that person food. Somebody had protected that person from wild animals. And she said to her, that was the first sign of civilization. And then the other thing about compassion that I wanted to tell you was Bobo. Bobo is a silverback gorilla. Those are big gorillas. But Bobo's mom was killed in the bushmeat trade, which is very sad. So he ended up in a, in a refugee for wildlife. And this huge male silverback gorilla, you can see him, found this little bush baby, this little small primate that had fallen out of a tree. And Bobo went over and picked up that little bush baby and held that little bush baby. And they have a description in here. He took his giant finger and just stroked the head of that bush baby. And then he reached up and he put him back in the tree. Isn't that wonderful? So that's my stories on compassion. I hope that it's helped. Check out my uh, Joanne Brown's <laughs> Qigong Facebook page. And if you wanna follow it, maybe I'll get 20 followers. Anyway, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for practicing with me. I will see you tomorrow. And Master Lin always says, be mindful of our thought patterns because they influence the flow of energy in our body. So compassion, kindness, forgiveness, and love. And we'll talk about love tomorrow. Bye, everybody.